What we have here is a Ream Classic super high efficiency heat pump running in heat mode. And the only reason I said that is because everything is right there on the logo. I literally just walked up on this unit and I do not know anything about it. This is what I love about Ream and Rude units. Like I said in the last video, everything you need to know is right on the unit, typically. And I think it would be asking a little too much to hope for a defrost cycle. This was manufactured in April of 2003, and it is a one and a half ton. It's only cooling a little tiny booth, so they don't need that much um, heating and cooling capacity. It's just a little one and a half ton. And it is very quiet. And the building is actually over here. Like, they got the um, disconnect box attached to the um, retaining wall out here. And then the line set goes under the ground and into the building, and the air handler is probably in there. Now the main building I was just at probably has gas heat. This one is kind of um, remotely located, so they probably didn't feel like running the gas lines out here. line is hot so it's obviously running in heat mode if the suction line is hot um, I'd say it's like in the 40s or 50s and it just shut off yeah it's chilly but I think it's a little too warm to get a decent defrost cycle very nice unit in my opinion and I forget I just forgot I think this Oh, this is a two, yeah, this is a 2003. I wasn't sure if it was March of 04 or April of 03. And it said 19,000 BTUs, so it's just a hair over um, 18,000 BTUs. So 19,000 BTUs would be a one and a half ton, or like a 1.6 ton, I guess. Um, A half ton is 6,000 BTUs. What the hell would that be? I'm, hor I'm horrible with, with um, this aspect of math. Um, what the hell would that be? Like 1.5 and a half tons or something? If you want to get really technical and break it down even farther, but yeah, you, you get the point. It's a one and a half ton. It's a big one and a half ton, so that means it has a big condenser coil, and that means it's more efficient. And I'd say, based on the based on the um, age, it's probably a ten or twelve. See, or the data sheet, or the energy guide's long gone. But yeah, I just happened to walk by at the right time, catch this beauty running. definitely one of the more unique installs I've seen and it's not a bad install actually like there's decent airflow it's level decently installed but if this were to need to be replaced you just want to um, make sure you evacuate the um, line set of R22 other than that this is a really good install and I'll bet you this building did not even have central air before this. It's just a little um, information booth. Probably like 500, 600 square feet at the very most. Yeah, but yeah. 
Nice little Ream Classic super high efficiency heat pump from 2003 located in Northern Virginia. Um, uh, and it's probably too much to hope as well for it to turn back on so I can get a startup clip. And it doesn't say scroll inside, but I'm assuming this has the scroll compressor. Yeah, there's the disconnect box. Nice little unit. Okay, this has been a Ream Classic, or let me do the whole thing. 2003 Ream Classic one and a half ton heat pump. And the data sheet actually says air conditioner. Don't know why they did it that way. So I am going to take some still photos of this for the Ream Like a Rock mashup. Um, and if it happens to defrost or turn back on before I leave, I'll film that too. So, uh, might be back, might not. If not, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Out. So I talked to the guy in the booth. He wasn't here earlier, but, um, he doesn't care if I make a video of it. And he also agrees with me that it's probably too warm to get a steam show. Or for it to even go into defrost. And I also found out that this park has no gas heat. I do not know why it's only straight cool units at that other building. So they must not be matched up with gas furnaces. Um, yeah, just figure I'd get another little clip of it running before we um, head out of here. I'm holding the camera this way, but there you go. Yeah, my aunt and uncle are probably going to be wondering where the hell I am right now. And a station wagon with Alaska plates just drove by. Um, we are in northern Virginia right now, so that guy is a long way from home. Saturn station wagon with Alaska plates just drove by and my cell phone rang a few minutes ago like I said my aunt and uncle are probably wondering where the hell I am I'm gonna try and see if the guy will do a turn off the thermostat so it'll start up for me um, I'll be back And this battery is just about dead, but I got another full one. I'm expecting this thing to die any minute now. And it just shut off. Is it going to turn back on soon? Is it going to turn back on soon? Did it go off? Yeah, it went off. Oh, okay, I'll turn it back on. It sounds like it's still turning in here, but I'll turn it Oh, that's just the air handler. This battery's going to freaking die any minute. But I am not going to bother turning it off because I know it'll just... Or I'm not going to bother replacing the battery because I know the damn thing will just, um... Turn on while I'm putting the battery in, so I'm not going to mess with that. Should turn on any minute now. sucks it's not colder this would have made one hell of a steam show
damn compressor lockouts. Okay, I put the new battery in there, and that one... I actually don't know how much of a charge that one's got left either. Because this one's only showing two, um... Two bars. So hopefully this one will last. Oh, come on, you bastard. Turn on. Turn on! Might just edit a lot of this, and this one's dead. I thought this one was fully charged. There it goes. That was just the compressor lockout. People are driving by here looking at me, but they don't know I have permission to film it, so. Yeah, I can guarantee with the utmost certainty that this probably has a um, scroll compressor. And I was wondering what the hell this is. High pressure control push to reset. Don't know what exactly that does. Alright, 2003 Ream Classic Super High Efficiency 1.5 ton heat pump, running in heat mode. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, out. This has been a Stamped Octagon production.